Okay, today is April, I think, 10th. Um, <laughs> Dummy me didn't bother to double check. Um, let's see, six, seven, eight. It might be the ninth. It's Monday. Um, I need to bring a calendar over here, and it's just one of those things I never think about. Anyway, this is Law Padoodle Canine Manor. Our website is www.lawpdoodle. K, the number nine, manor, um, M A N O R dot com. All right, this is a litter of eight Pyridoodle, first generation Pyridoodle puppies out of our Bandy, who many know, and if you've been on our website, she is now spayed. Um, I do believe we've already assigned her to a new home. Um, her soon to be new owner is very excited and wants to make a uh, therapy dog out of her. Um, so, and I think she is a perfect candidate because of her temperament. She is an awesome, awesome dog, very loving. She even smiles, <laughs> which will um, tickle anybody that needs a little lift in spirits. And um, she's always been good for us, and I hope that she will have a wonderful retirement. Shiloh will also be up for retirement. However, Shiloh, unlike Bandy, is not already spayed. Uh, she has our litter of Pyrenees Bernies, um, which we will also feature on a video today update. Um, at this age, it's becoming, <laughs> my last photo shoot with these guys was not fun. Um, uh, they just do not, as you can see, stay still long enough. And so I find it's much easier to just give you a video update at this age. They are just about six weeks old. We will be weaning mom off this week. Uh, we have a litter due within a few days of Sheba Doodles with our Callie and Gino. So, um, and she is big and fat. So we are just praying for a very safe and healthy delivery uh, for Mama, this is her third litter, uh, so she is an experienced Mama, and she's a gentle, gentle spirit herself. Um, probably a little bit different markings for our Sheepa Doodles. Um, she doesn't have as much as far as party genetics, but she's got a lot of Brindle, Phantom, Sable, uh, so it'll be interesting to see what she produces for us uh, with regard to Sheepa Doodles. This is kind of a little bit of an experiment. Experiment. Um, we did get Sables and Brindles with our Jack when he was still breeding. He's our party Silver Brindle uh, Standard Poodle that is now about 10 and a half years old. And um, he he's still with us. He's gonna be with us till his last day. Um, but he's not really breeding anymore. But we do have a son and a great grandson of his in our program that we are raising up and very excited as far as their future. Um, okay, now we have our gray collared boy here. He is Sable. Now we have four, um, four positions open in this litter. Um, this is my girl that, this is my purple collar girl. She's the only female Sable in the litter. We are keeping her, I've named her Bug. Uh, she's my little bug. She pops right out as soon as I open the door. I mean, I literally open the door and she's boom, 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 out. And even as I put the higher barrier up on the door, she's still out. She usually hops out right underneath mom's legs. <laughs> she loves to explore and she knows no fear, no boundaries. Um, hopefully she will not do that with us in the pack. We are hoping that our fencing will restrain her from wandering as Pyrenees can known to be done. But uh, she will definitely be very brave and um, do well and fit well into our pack. But first, she's gonna start off with us in our house as we do all of our puppies. Yes, this is my buggy bug. Yeah, you're my buggy bug. All right, this is our little brown collar boy. He's our other sable. I believe he's already been chosen. Um, pretty sure he has, yeah. All right, and this is our pink collared girl. I think she's still available. I'll be honest with you, I was focusing on my other litter this morning when I was on uh, my website and I should have made note, but I made a last minute decision when I came over to do chores today to grab my um, uh, phone to come over and do a video so everybody could get an update. So um, they are marked which ones are available and which ones are sold um, already. And we do have, I believe, four openings still in this litter, both females and males. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> The allergy issues have been really driving me crazy. All right, um, this is our, our gray collared boy. Um, I don't know if I just just focused on you or not. These these two boys are sables. Um, then we have our our other blue sable boy, light blue. Okay, and there he is. And then our black and whites are our pink girl right here. They do have ID names uh, on their um, on the website. 
okay. I think I went with fruit or something. I can't remember what it was. Um, and then this is our black collared boy. Okay, and this litter black collar was for a boy in my uh, Bernese Pyrenees or Mountain um, Great Mountainese litter. Uh, we did use black for a girl. Okay, there is our dark green collared boy. He is a black and white, uh, playing with the red toy, along with my bug. I believe that's my, no, that's not my bug. No, my bug's right here. She won't leave me. She won't leave me. No. All right, and there is the red collared girl. She is the one that was born C-section. There was only one puppy left that was stuck way up inside Mama. It was a very challenging C-section, but Mama is doing great. She made a full recovery. And uh, this little girl, well, it was her lucky day. Rich called her smudge. We already have a smudgy. That's kind of a typical marking trademark of this particular breed. Um, my first, uh, fir first generation, that's I have a girl that's an adult that's been a mom for us a couple of times, and her name is Smudgy. She's been having some ear problems, so I've kind of held her back in breeding of late uh, until we can get her straightened out. Um, some puppies, like some kids, are more prevalent to the issues than others, and uh, we've just been working with her, and she's healthy otherwise, but she's just had a kind of chronic ear problem, and we think we've got it under control, but we gotta keep a close eye on her. Okay, and when we feel that she is healthy, um, then we may have another litter for with her, or we may just choose to retire her. She was our first first generation pure doodle in our program for second generations. Okay, and we also have Freckles, which was born here out of our Boaz, and um, I believe Shiloh is her mom. Pretty sure Shiloh. Okay, Shiloh, of course, is the one that. And but by, by the way, well, of course, obviously. Uh, Bandy is retiring, but Shiloh is as well. This is her retirement litter, the one that we have of the Pyrenees, Great Pyrenees, um, Bernie's Mountain Dog Cross, our litter of 11. Okay, so I just wanted to give another peek. Um, again, we have four openings in this litter. I believe we have three or four openings in our litter of Pyrenees, Great Pyrenees, uh, Bernie's as well. And hopefully, as the weather is improving, um, these guys are ready for their first set of vaccines, and once we have everybody uh, safely with their first set of vaccines, um, then I may be taking them outside for some outside shots. <laughs> Was that a face plant? Was that a face plant? Okay, again, our gray collared boy there. The sables are beautifully marked. Matter of fact, a couple of the boys I wished had been girls, but I am so happy with the personality of my little bug. All right. Okay, there's our small brown collar boy. There's my bug. All right, there's the black collar boy, which is black and white. All right, and pink. I have to look above the screen, um, the, um, yeah, you know, the view thing on my phone because red and pink tend to look the same. Okay, there's our green collar boy. No, they don't have fleas. They just get annoyed with their collars. All right, there's our black, and they've been really, really good about using the potty box. These guys are nice, clean puppies so far. I, they had a little slow start, but they really picked up on it. They've made my daily chores a lot easier, um, and hopefully as mom moves out, they'll keep it up. I do know mom's not there. <laughs> they go doing puppy wrestles. Um, that's the light blue collar boy, and there is the brown collar boy, and they are on top of our black collar boy. <coughs> somebody always ends up at the bottom of the pile but they come back there's my girl playing with the toy that's my bug All right. <laughs> you got a tail you got a tail huh <laughs> they're so darn cute I love 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 this breed and please if you are curious about their temperament especially as adults um, go to, if you, and if you have a Facebook account, search out Pira Doodles at Lalpa Doodle Canine Manor, and please uh, request to join our group. It is open and public, so you can kind of scan through it. We will close it eventually as we did our, our, um, our main group, uh, Lalpa Doodle Canine Manor. Um, that one is still, you can still search it out, but it's closed, so you do have to join to see the posts. Um, but our, our Pyridoodle group, if you want to see the antics and the pictures that our customers from pre pre previous litters have shared, 
Um, if you have any questions, I'm sure that a number of our members will be certainly more than happy to uh, answer your questions with regard to the temperament, raising these puppies, um, you know, and just the kind of family pet that they make, which I think is fabulous. And shedding issues, if any. Um, we do have a couple of families on, or a few families on there with our second generation, but we have a number of our families, of course, with our first generation as well. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this little playtime with our babies. And uh, if you are interested, please get on our website that we um, gave to you in the beginning of this video. And our email is there, contact us, and we'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Uh, these puppies are priced at $1,200 um, with a $300 deposit, and the link for the deposit is there on our website. We do ask that you kind of give us a little bit of an email heads up, um, if possible, before you place a deposit. Not always necessary, many people have just you know, whether it's our sheep -a doodles or what have you, I've just picked up on a random deposit. Um, but it does open up the line of communication. I've been able to talk with them afterwards, so it's never been a real big issue. But I do kind of sometimes like to know uh, ahead of time, and most of our customers are wanting to ask us questions before committing to one of our puppies. Uh, these guys are, oh, I want to say it's the first week of May. They're ready to go home. So perfect timing for perfect weather as far as housebreaking, much easier. Uh, great tip, just wanna share real quickly before I close out here uh, from one of my customers. She came up with the idea of taking the pellets that we get from Tractor Supply, whether it's the equine pellet. Well, there's two kinds of equine pellets. We've been using the higher price ones lately because they don't seem to stain quite as bit bad, but I don't think it would really matter. Uh, the pine pellets would work fine. Um, and when you're doing the initial potty training, generally everybody will have a designated spot that they take their puppy to on a schedule or when they know they need to go outside so that they're going where they smell their own uh, <clears throat> potty from before. And a customer of mine came up with a brilliant idea of taking some of these pellets that they're used to using in their potty box uh, and putting it in that spot she designated to train outside for her puppy. So uh, just a little tip that might help um, in the initial housebreaking, which of course is the most challenging part aside from crate training um, in the initial weeks. But if you're diligent about it and you have the patience and you can deal with a few less hours of sleep, it will be worth it in the long run. Okay. Um, and of course, if anybody's interested, I know she's booking up really fast, especially with the uh, spring and summer litters. You can check the link on our website uh, for Milo's Puppy Boot Camp. Um, nice pooey, I like to see that. Okay, um, and uh, if you're interested in initial training, house, house breaking, house training, and crate training to get over that first tri challenging hump, um, contact Penny directly. Um, we do bounce off of each other, but our businesses are completely separate. I do not know her schedule as far as what she has or doesn't have available in her time frame, so you'll have to talk with her directly about that. Okay, all right, and uh, her contact information is on that link, uh, which is on a tab on our website. Okay, all right, thank you again for viewing our puppies. Hi, cutie. Hi. 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 I'm trying to see your, oh, that's black collared boy. All right, I was just trying to get a view of his collar. All right, guys, I gotta go clean the other box. Yep, make another video. Thank you for viewing our puppies. Again, we do have some openings on this litter, so please get in touch. <laughs> That's my bug. Uh, please get in touch with us, and we'll uh, be happy to assist you if you're interested in one of our puppies. Thank you, and God bless.